Today we need to get into V talking about people who have hurt him and haters. We also need to get into V's body being body shamed over people talking about nude photos and what the rumors are about that. And then we have a photographer that is getting into a bit of trouble recently and resurfacing the V and Jenny rumors. So you don't think this is Dave Desai, hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Make sure you join us fangirling on Patreon and let's go. There have been some issues with photography and specifically around V and Jenny's. A long time ago, there was a photographer who took a video of alleged V and Jenny walking down in Paris, I believe into the park holding hands, and this caused a lot of controversy among if this was actually real and people debating as to if the people in the video were just cosplaying as V and Jenny and it was not actually them. The alleged photographer or paparazzi even got messages from fans asking them if what they saw was actually V and Jenny and they confirmed that it was. Now I bring this up to kind of bring light back into the fact that photographers and people who have talked about V and Jenny dating have been sort of a sore spot within the community. Now anything that involves a photographer, anything that involves photos are being used to credit the two being together or have dated. Now in any normal world, the two members dating is not seen as a big deal, nor is it really even much of a talking point because no one really talks about like Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello dating. And then people like to say things like they're not K-pop stars and that's why it's okay. It should be okay for K-pop stars because guess what? K-pop stars are still celebrities. Are we trying to say that K-pop stars are either better than celebrities or that K-pop stars are worse than celebrities? I don't know what we're trying to say about that. And when V and Jenny are talked about dating, it's often used to either degrade one or the other to call Jenny a slut or to ridicule V on not loving his fandom anymore because he's choosing to date a member of Blackpink and Blackpink fans have have ridiculed armies for forever. Recently, there was a photo that V put on his profile picture. Now, if you are unaware of when he changes his profile picture on Instagram or on social media, he changes it every time he has a comeback. So one of the last comebacks that he had before he enlisted, he was allowed some freedom as to his own promotion and his own content that he was going to be putting out. And he ended up, I believe, going to Jeju Island in Korea and brought his own photographer with him and took some pictures. And those pictures ended up being in his profile picture. So this is something that V has been known to do over and over again and something that he does regularly with a promotion. And so it's just something that people who like him know that he does. Now the photo that V put in his profile picture was a black and white photo of him near a bridge in London. He was standing in front of the bridge and he credited a specific photographer in the photo. Now some people connected this to a photo that Jenny took a little while ago where she also credited the same photographer. Now you see how this story connects with the story I mentioned earlier. It's all because photography and a photographer were involved. Now I don't think anyone thinks that this photographer is the same photographer that took the picture of V and Jenny holding hands, but they do think that since they both apparently share a photographer that they must be dating or that this is proof of them canoodling before. To some claims even saying that the bridge is the exact same bridge as the one in Jenny's photo or maybe even saying that they took inspiration from each other. I don't know. However, there's a lot of things wrong with this. For First off, being the fact that it's believed that Jenny isn't even in the same area as the place that V took his photo in. And second of all, people can share a photographer just the same way as two artists can share the same makeup artist. People like to think that there's a lot of talent in the industry and there's definitely a lot of new talent that is trying to break into the industry. But among the people who are actually doing it full time and the people who have years of experience and experience in creating stuff that the general public will like, those people are far and few in between. It's genuinely hard to find someone who is good at their job. And when I say good at their job, I don't mean that they're artistically good because there's a lot of people that are artistically good. There are a lot of people that just take really good photos or draw really well. But I'm talking about things that will actually sell in the industry and things that will become commercially successful that catches people's attention and stuff that will eventually convert into buying albums. So for example, there are going to be specific celebrity photographers that make Make more money or get booked more than other celebrity photographers. And one of those reasons could be that one celebrity photographer is really good at taking pictures and thus those pictures can convert into album sales. So please, just because two celebrities share one specific talent does not mean that they are dating. And it's very interesting because V has talked about it at length in Suga's show Suichita where he talks about being hurt by people. V talked about at a certain point feeling very much guarded because he felt like those around him and those he considered friends were 
treating him more like an asset as opposed to treating him like a friend. This was something that was very difficult for him to deal with and he didn't know who he could trust and who he couldn't. I always wonder what type of people other people hang out with because I don't know. I just feel like if I ever became someone that was making billions of dollars, I really don't feel like the people around me would change that much. But I guess his experience is that those people did change. He talks at length about how much those people have hurt him. This also changes the type of person that you can be towards other people if this happens to you. So for example, of course, V has talked about this and said that he had to go and find himself again because he didn't want to be the person that society was making him out to be as opposed to the person that was going to be true to himself. He also talks about how he has love and support and resilience from the other members that have kept him going in such times where he may doubt his true self or may doubt his support from other people that are considered friends. And of course, each of the members are going to be great at supporting each other and each of the members are going to understand what they're all going through because they're all going through the same thing. He also, of course, thanks armies as a lot of the messages that he's gotten, I'm sure has helped him through those tough times as well. A lot of people are very excited to see him return from the military. And recently we've been seeing a glimpse of what would happen if he decided to return. He's recently been celebrating, I believe, his release of his song by going to dinner with some of his friends. And those pictures have been documented and posted online. People were particularly obsessed with how his hair has grown out a bit, as well as seeing how his body is looking since enlisting. You can tell from the pictures that his arms look a lot more fuller as well as his chest. People were comparing the last moments in which we saw him shirtless to what he could potentially look like now that he is a lot more buff. And they're taking specific moments from his music video and his solo work where he appears to have a much slimmer frame in those videos and photos. Of course, there were a lot of comments saying if you were to take a shirtless picture once he's done from the military or if he decides to just take a shirtless picture now and post it, that the community is going to go crazy and die because of how good he will look. I mean, even just seeing him shirtless in those music videos with him not being super buff, people were already dying and freaking out over it. However, there were a lot of people who were taking moments from the older music videos and the shirtless moments and calling V some really horrible things. Now, since V is a bit slimmer, people were calling him a twink. Now, this is a gay terminology that is used to basically talk about younger, slimmer men and used in a way to say that these men are more feminine and less manly. Now, of course, for someone like V, this would be an insult, as I would assume the members of BTS would prefer to be seen as manly. Also, this has been a way to degrade him to say that he's unattractive and that he doesn't look good shirtless. And people have even compared his shirtless moments to how Jungkook looks or how other K-pop stars look. And the thing is, his goals were going to be different from what Jungkook has done. V's whole album and his whole vibe was all about being more on the side of trying to be relatable. So if he came into the music video trying to look super buff and all that stuff, we would obviously not feel that connection with him and it wouldn't really work. Now, a lot of people are saying that there could be leaked pictures taken by a stalker of either him in the shower or there would be new leaked pictures that would come out. However, we haven't really seen any of those pictures come out and I hope we don't really see it if it's not consensual. And as for the older pictures that have come out, I don't think that he should be shamed for how his body looks. Sometimes I feel like we as a society have moved so far past shaming someone's body, but then I will read the comments and realize that people are still using stuff like that to attack other people. Bottom line is, if you have to resort to attacking how someone physically looks, then you have no other things to insult them by. And thus, you are still better than them. Because attacking physical looks is so like low-hanging fruit, it's literally right in front of you. It's not like anyone else doesn't notice those things. Everyone notices if you have a pimple or if you're too skinny or if you're seen as thicker. Everyone has eyes. So insulting those things is not really that creative. And I hate to see people body shame his old body and then maybe even prefer his newer body because then it makes it really insulting for anyone who looks like V, anyone who has V's older body type. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.